Okay, so I'm going to tell about Mendeley. A lot of new things have changed in the Mendeley. I mean, Mendeley Desktop Manager used to be available earlier, but now everything is like more of an online thing. So what I will show first is like, um, that is my screen. Uh, I have to see the screen there. So, so this is the Mendeley um, application which I have downloaded here. Okay. So when I open this, it will have the list of documents which I have already downloaded. Okay. So it will have the list of documents which I have added, I have classified it, I have included it in this. Now, um, how to add documents in it, how to, I mean, we have to, we obviously have to be connected to the internet to do that. And uh, for some reason, if it doesn't work, you have an alternate option here. So when you go to um, the website, you can go to the Mendeley Web Importer. Mendeley Web Importer is a plugin. So there are two plugins. One is for the word and one is for the net. Okay. So this is a Mendeley Importer net plugin. So the net plugin, if it works, then you can actually start inserting documents there. So there are multiple ways to insert documents and then uh, let me see whether I can open this uh, stupid Mendeley which sometimes doesn't work all the time. The previous version was very good. I have, for some reason, it's not opening here. Okay. So either this should open or that should open. And uh, this is a Mendeley reference manager. And uh, there is a Mendeley link on the on the net. Right, that's on the internet. Now, in the past, we used to have documents written like this, where we keep on putting these documents here. And then it, it creates a lot of confusion for us because how to add all this. So, so first you have to log in yourself. If you're already logged in, it will say that you're logged in, but uh, for some reason this thing logged me out. So for that, you have to remember your password as well. And uh, if you don't remember your password, obviously it won't work. So what happened? So it's, it's, it's not loading, loading, loading. Now this is online mentally or this is a uh, physical mentally. Yeah, so this is a loading mentally. Okay. So references have been deleted. The cell fight have been closed. I don't care. Okay, so add new. So I have got all my, see, these are the collections. I've got it into folders, multiple folders. I mean, these are some of the research work which we have done. So each research work will have a small folder. So this is the that research work. This is this research work. So that one, each one will have a different folder. Now I will add a new folder. So for that, I will add a new folder. Okay. Uh, not that button. So first I have to add a new folder. Where is new folder? So I will just give a name here. So that is a new folder. I don't know whether it happened. Right here. So that is the empty folder. The folder doesn't have anything. Okay. So I have to add a reference. So to add a reference, there are multiple ways. Import files from the computer. Import folders on the computer. Import library. Then add reference manually. This is the most... Uh, an update is ready to install. Not now. So um, now I will go to this article where that various references I have inserted here, right? So this the DOI number is what I need. Okay. So DOI number, I'll remember it. I'll copy it. Now it starts with this name Chaudhary. So I'll remember that also because I need to know whether that's actually identifying it correctly. So I have added it there. And then it is searching. If the DOI is correct, it will come here. The name has come correct. So I'll say add entry. And then for some reason, there is no references in this collection. So, so whether it has, whether it has come to all references at least here, yeah, it has come into the all references. For some reason, it has not come into the folder, but that's okay. It is still there. 
this reference is there. Now, for this particular trial article, I mean trial trial um, version. So I've got this uh, four or five articles inserted here. So what I'm going to do is again, I'm going to insert them one by one. At least if I have four, then I can show um, like how many are there. So add references manually. Go and insert that DOI there and search there. If that is correct, that author's name Webbington has come there. So we'll add that also. It has come in the total list. It has not come to my folder. I can always move to my folder later. So there are four articles here. So this is another one by Chen. So this is the DOI. What is DOI? Digital Object Identifier. So this is unique number, which all of them have. So I've gone there, add new, then add references manually. So there are multiple ways to do it. I mean, you can reference it by uh, PubMed in the PMID. You can put PMID also. But the PMID doesn't always work. So I prefer to use the uh, DOI if at all it's available. Now here there is one PMC ID, well, PMID is available. Let me see whether it works. Okay, in this uh, in this last article, it's got some in um, some sad lucky, some name is there. So we'll add that sad lucky here. Let me see. So I have put that PMID number. Let me see whether that works. So opening up for metadata. Ah, oh, it worked. So there is another way to enter. So I've added four references here. Okay. All these four references are there. Now in this article, I don't need this kind of information here. So I don't need all these things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this, remove this also. Then uh, I'm going to insert reference here. So for this Mendeley site, I have to go to this Mendeley site. So I will go to Mendeley site and if it is connected, it should actually show the latest references there. For some reason, this fellow logged me out and then he's now asking me to sign in again. I've already signed in. So these are the little hidden troubles. But uh, you will get around that. Okay, so this is the word plugin. So we need the word plugin to enter the data. So I may have to uh, refresh it. See, see, all those four names have come here. So the first name is this um, Chowdhury. So I'll insert the citation there. It has come there. OK. Um, now the second one is this particular thing called baby time. So here I go and say that that is it. Yeah, insert citation. So that has come there. Okay. Now I'm going to delete this because I mean this is an old way of doing it. I'll tell you why this is useful. What was the one we removed? So it was the one before that, right? Check. So insert citation. Then the last one. Okay, this one also I'll remove and insert citation there. So this is the last one. Insert citation. Okay. So all these things are done. Now I can go to citation settings. So let me say that I've completed it here. Let me say I've completed this article. Okay. So now I'm going to Citation settings. I can go to citation settings, change citation style. Okay, American, whatever, AMA. Let me choose AMA citation style. Okay, then uh, update citation style. Okay, so it has updated the citation style to one, two, three, and four. This is like a different style. And then I can even go and say that insert bibliography. Uh, so I go to bibliography. That's the question. 
that is the preferences. But there must be a button for that. Ah, here, insert bibliography. So, so that is the cursor point, it has included all the references. So I'll tell you why this is important and useful. Let us say that you've got some 50 references. You're writing a thesis. Okay. You have 50 references and suddenly you want to change your reference article. For example, this fellow, you feel that it is important here. You suddenly find that this fellow is important, but he's not as important as number second reference. You have found that it is important as a um, number two reference not at number two. So I'll go here, okay? I'll go here and then insert the fourth reference. Okay. Or let me even choose a fifth reference. Let us say that, you know, uh, let me choose a fifth reference. I'll put that there. You see, can you see? That name has come, all of them are moved down. Okay, that is the advantage. If you have 50 references, you don't have to remember which moves where. Now, citation style, we can go simply and then change the citation style. So, you go to I see the one particular, um, you know, article that um, particular journal has refused it. Um, so, you go and then say that I don't want that uh, reference style. So, I want to change it means you click on that update citation style. Then everything changes. I don't know whether you noticed it. It was previously, previously superscript. Now, it has become brackets. Similarly, these also have changed. Previously, it was something else. If you notice it, previously it was a different st style of insertion. See, previously you had a DOI and all those things were there. After we change the citation style, it has changed to different one. So, Mendeley is a pretty easy thing. It's very useful to insert and move around multiple citations. And also it is useful when you have to resubmit your article for another uh, journal after being, you know, asked to reject it or whatever. So that's about it. Uh, that's about use of Mendeley and the new version of it. Okay. Any questions you can ask? Any questions?